Hello, today I'll show you how to do the first app project that Android developer encourages you to make. It's a simple app. You just type in uh, your words into this box. You press send and displays at the other end and you press return and you go back to where you started and then you can just continue this in an infinite loop. It's great fun. So to find this tutorial, you can go to developer.android.com, go down to Docs, um, and then go to Build Your First App, and here you go. So let's follow along with this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is to open up Android Studio and start a new project. You'll want to select Empty Activity, and then name your app. You can call it My First App. Everything is default, even using the Kotlin programming language. While that's rendering, I want to go over an overview of the app itself. So there are two activities, this main activity and a display message activity. This one is where you enter a message and this one is where you display the message. There are two user interface elements in each activity. Um, here you have the enter a message where you type it in and this is going to be an edit text element and the send button is going to be a button. And this goes over to the display message activity. This is going to be a text view uh, user interface element because you can't um, edit it. It just displays or just you can only view the text. And again the button is going to be the return button is going to be a button. And here's um, the, what the Java for each of the um, things is going to look like. For main activity, on, on create, there's going to be nothing of note. It's just going to be the default on create um, text here. And then we're going to make an intent, the and send message intent actually, but it's going to be outside of the on create notice outside. And, but compare that to display activity, during the on create, we want to get a get message intent during the on create. And when we make the return to main activity intent, this is going to be outside of the display message on create. Yeah, this took me a few days to figure out. So I think it's done now. So let's start programming. So now we're at the build a simple user interface section and you can read it out, but basically we're going to put two UI elements onto the layout. They're going to be the button and the edit text, which you can see right here. And then we're going to um, change what message they display um, on the button and the edit text, I think. So Gradle has finally compiled and uh, let's change this up a little bit. We'll follow the tutorial and we'll start changing up our user interface. So we're going to first delete the hello world text. We're going to add in our plain text, which is, or edit text, this, that's what's called in the IDE. And below we're going to add a button. They're just going to be use, we're just going to use the default names, I think. We might have to check that later. Um, and now we have to change the UI strings that are here. And for that, we have to go to values and go to the string.xml. Now we could just type this in, but I think the tutorial wants us to use this, um, the editor. Yes, and we want to add keys and default values. So let's see, how do I add the key? Oh, this plus sign. <laughs> so let's add a key right here. Let me just check what they want us to call it. Um, okay, so we want to make a edit message key and we want the value to be enter a message and click. Okay, and that's going to be the text that's going to go into the edit text box. We want another one for the, the button, I think. I think it's called send. 
So we want the key to be send. No, we want the message to be button. We want the key to be button underscore send, and we want the default value to be send. Okay, cool. So let's go back to our activity main and let's add these strings in. So for edit text, let's see, we want the hint to be our edit message. So it will say, um, you know, enter a message here, but notice that says name because that's what it says here for text. So we'll just delete that. And then our added message thing pops up instead. Yay. So now for button, we're just going to go to the text view here. And again, we're going to press button send. So now it's going to say send. Hooray. <laughs> Let's run this to make sure that everything is working as it should. So we're going to press this uh, little green button and we're going to start up the emulator. Okay, well, this uh, does not look good. Obviously the button is right over the, um, the, the edit text box. So we need to fix this first. Right, so now we need to constrain our values um, or constrain the UI elements. So what happens is that we need to say this is right below the edit text. I'm not sure like how this constraining works. I'm not an expert, but I think this little arrow thing means put the button always underneath the edit text at a rate of you know 64 units, whatever that means. Let's just make it. Let's just make it. Yeah, 56 units. So let's run our emulator again and see how that works. Okay. Much better. And notice that it still does absolutely nothing. That's where we're going to start programming in Kotlin. We can find the code for that send message intent on the developer um, tutorial. So we want to use the Kotlin code, not the Java, because remember we chose Kotlin at the beginning. Um, and right now it's just a uh, pseudocode. It doesn't do anything. I I think what they do is, yes, they have the full code right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, copy and paste this. So what this does, this intent um, will take the values of the edit text from the um, user interface. It's going to convert it to a string, and then it's going to Put that into an intent and put that string into an extra message. And now we're getting a lot of errors because um, <laughs> because we don't we didn't import a lot of stuff. So if we import, we don't have a lot of stuff that we need. So let's edit text. We're going to Alt Enter this, and we're going to import that. So now we import import text. We don't have an intent import, so we're going to import this as well so now it's in there and this extra message i'm going to comment this out for now because um well <laughs> well it's uh it's just another complication that we don't need at the moment um i see this java here is this correct i guess it is what it's complaining about now is that we don't have the display message activity and they're absolutely correct we we don't so what we need to do is we go to file new and we want to make a new activity or make it an empty activity and um we're going to call this display message activity and we're going to keep everything as the default values and finish. So this creates a new uh, Kotlin file called display message activity. And it's going to be a blank, um, blank thing. So nothing will happen. And I notice there's still 
Oh, and I forgot to um, import a view for for make. That's why there was a red line there. So now let's um, run our emulator and see if everything works properly. So everything like looks good. Let's type in a message. And nothing happens. Oh yeah, <laughs> derp. Um, <laughs> Uh, we never, <laughs> I just really, so if you look at this send message here, this function, it, it complains that it's never used and they're absolutely correct. We did never actually use it. So what, what happens is, well, well, if you look at the, um, the overview, you notice that, um, when we press the send button it sends the intense send message, but of course we never put it in the button that it's supposed to send the intent. So <laughs> let's go over to activity main and go over to the send button. If you look here um, at the uh, the on click, it's, it's not, it's nothing. So we want to press the send message on the main activity. And now when we click on the buttons, it should take us to display message activity. So let's try that. All right, let's try it out. Uh, let's type in something, press send. Yay, and it takes us to display message activity, which as you notice is completely blank. So now let's, um, let's fill it in with our text view and our, well, we'll do the return button later. First, let's just do the text view. Now, if you remember in a display message activity, it has two main user interface elements. We're only going to do one of the right now. It's we're going to make this display message text view. And remember that it takes the text from the, the message from the edit text um, element, which we commented out earlier. So we're going to comment it back in right now. So you can find the XML file for this under layouts and it's activity display message. Um, we go to text on our palette and we look at text view and you sort of drag and drop that um, here. Let's make it a little bigger. I it would be nice if the font were a little larger. I remember it was quite small. Um, when I was doing this, is there a way to change the font size? Oh, here we go. I'm 24. I wonder if that, <laughs> I wonder if that um, changes anything. Who knows? Um, so there we are. We have the UI element. And now we have to go to the Kotlin file display message activity. And remember, we have to do it on the in the on create file and we have to say okay take the intent and display it so that code can be found on the tutorial website and it's right here uh, display message so we'll just copy and paste this copy okay right, let's get rid of these extra these red messages so it's saying that we did not um we never had don't have this variable that's true because we commented out earlier but first let's import the proper things this text view here import all right so this is where it's complaining that we never they don't get the string that we from the other call them file that's because we commented it out so let's uncomment this out and it's red I think because we never declared it um, let's see I think we should declare a variable somewhere do we have to import this Would that help? Is that supposed to happen? I guess so. Well, let's try it out. Let's see if this works. 
Let's enter our message. Hello, Anna. Send. And it works. Hooray. The font's still tiny, though, but, you know, it works. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like to add the return button. That takes us to the, the previous menu. But Android um, Studio, the Android Studio tutorial, I recommend you put a back button. So we'll do both. We'll do both. So what Android Studio wants to do is add the back button on your app, and that's by um, going into the Android manifest and saying that the parent activity of the display message is going to be um, the main activity. So we take this part and note that, remember, it's going to be under display message activity and add it in. So we go to here to manifest. Here we go. Um, and we go to display message activity. I'm going to add a little bit of line so it's a little more readable. So we go to display message activity and we copy and paste this in. So now we should have added the back button. Let's try it out. Good. Um, let's add hi. Send. And it goes to my first app, it says hi, and it has this back button, so now you can press back. And it goes to your first window, and then you can have fun with it. I like to add a return button, I find it's a little more usable and a little more fun. And we can use our knowledge of intents to try something new, so let's do that. We want to add the, um, the intent to the display message activity, so what we first want to do is we want to add a button to right below the text view. And we learned less from last time, we want to constrain it so it doesn't sit on top of the text view. We're going to call this button 2, it's fine, and on click is nothing, we don't have an intent yet, so let's go to display message activity and make an intent. And this goes outside of the on create, so on create is this guy. So we want to go outside of it. Um, let's copy and paste from main activity this send message and then edit it. <laughs> and yes, it wants to import. See, I don't see why it didn't import when you copy and paste it the first time. Well, anyway, so functioned uh, send or return to main. And we don't need this edit text because uh, we're not sending anything, we're not putting any extras. And we're just going to make this intent take us to not display message activity, but main activity and then start intent. So this should be good enough and not saying return to main is never used. So we go back to activity display message, click on button, on the on click, return to main, and let's see if this works. It should. And return message. Hi, it's me. And let's send it. And yes, it displays. Oh, and the button says, I should have said make it return. Um, you click on that and it goes back. So later you can uh, adjust this. It says return or take me back and you know, but you can just play around with it and make maybe you can play around with fonts as well. Uh, so that's not quite so tiny. Um, well, that is the first app that Android likes you to make. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy as much as I did.